because I feel like we've prepared for this for so long. So, I mean, we're finally getting started and we have a really good like lineup of guests to come on the show. So, I think I'm ready. Fun. Yeah, Fun. I think so, yeah. And I actually woke up this morning realizing I was dressed like a blushing bride. I want to say I did it on purpose, but I didn't. It's completely like coincidental, but it's perfect, right? It is. For this is topic. Right. So yeah, marriage. It's a big topic, I feel. But I feel like it's also the perfect topic to start off this huge project because when we think about marriage, now I actually um, went online to look and by definition, marriage is the socially and legally sanctioned union of two people by law. That's kind of a boring definition, right? Like what does that even mean? But I feel like every person has a different perspective on marriage and their experience of marriage, which is really why I wanted to like dive in deeper about this. And that's why we have a perfect guest today. You ready? Yeah, let's go join her. I'm ready. Let's go. Let's go. Uh, so my name is Tracy Chu. Um, I've been invited here by Grace today to talk about marriage. And what is your definition of a good marriage? I think a definition of a good marriage is where you find someone else that's willing to be with you unconditionally. Um, it's actually quite difficult to find someone that's compatible and of course be able to support you no matter what happens in life. I drop my bag here. Hi! You're here, right? No, I was so excited. It's so pretty, I was so right? excited, yeah. Ah, thank you so much. Thanks for having me. You look so nice. Oh, no, thank you. You look so nice. <laughs> she said she was going to be wearing a ball gown. I'm I know, but then she said she wasn't. Changed? So I have to get changed, so I have to find something else. I showed her my wardrobe, and I was like, oh, okay, so I'm wearing this, so, you know, feel free to wear whatever. I know, and then she's like, oh, in case you wear a ball gown. I was like, yeah. oh, no, now I don't find something else. <laughs> I love it. Seriously, thank you so much for being on the show, because this is the first time I, like, I'm not going to call it a talk show. I'm going to call it a chat show, because it's, like, less pressure for me oh. that way. So we're just Fair chatting. It's yeah. so exciting. Thank for you. Me too. Okay, cheers. Thanks for being here. Cheers. What are you having? Uh, orange soda punch. Mm. Mm. I'm having orange so juice. Pretty yummy. Yeah. So, the show is called Love Matters. I know. And you know today's topic, right? Yes. We're talking about marriage. Marriage. <laughs> and I look like a bride today. I just oh, realized yeah. when I got here. No, not on purpose. But um, so the reason I really wanted Tracy to be on the show is because honestly, she's like one of the most beautiful people I know inside and out. Like I know personally that you and your husband have a pretty unique story. Yes. And I'm just going to pretend I don't know anything so that you can share it yourself. Um, well, it's quite unique because the way we met was that um, our moms decided to give, they didn't know each other, our moms didn't know each other. So they decided to give birth a hospital yeah and um at the time like somewhat years ago um they shared a room i yeah. think there was a room with like six people justin he had his was born three days before, before i was yours? wow and then i was born three days later and mm-hmm. our moms became friends and oh. then because we, the moms were friends so as yeah. we got older we were friends ourselves and oh. then eventually it led to this yeah what do you mean eventually, eventually what happened in between so, but you guys didn't date right away no so okay. um we, I went to Canada. Yeah. He did school overseas as well. And okay. then we were just like very like family friends, you know, like yeah. every summer you come back and then your mom forces you to have friends. <laughs> uh, so you have someone to hang out with? Like yeah. the uncles yeah. and their sons yeah. or whatnot. And then so we'd all have to gather, but we weren't so close. Oh. Right. So it was after I was in Hong Kong, I was alone in, in Hong Kong for Christmas. Yeah. And they invited me over for dinner and then Justin was there and then we kind of got closer, like 
on our own. Yeah. Uh, I don't think they intended when they invited right, them to right. marry their son. Oh my where God. Where we are now. <laughs> like, if that were to happen, they would have arranged it, like, since the very beginning. Ago, right? yeah. 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 Oh, my oh, gosh. Yeah. So you guys pretty much started dating after that? Yes, but it was long distance because he was still living in Singapore. Oh, and yeah. it, like, very low-key because you just started out in the business. Yes. And I know how this business so is. So stressful. Oh, my so gosh. Our first trip to Canada... Yeah. We had to take separate, same flights, but separate seats. Oh. I know. And looking back, I don't know if it was necessary, but at that time, because you were new, right? Yes. And you were scared of everything. We follow everything that exactly. they say. And so that was kind of, I think that was pretty hard for him. Oh, true. Because right? you're in the business, but yeah. he's not. We were so new that career was, you know, everything. You yeah. weren't going to risk everything else. Exactly. Um, just for a trip. Right. right. So that was that. So I thought that was, you know, oh, pretty good guy. So do you feel like the expectations of what you thought were marriage compared to how they really are, are quite different? Um, honestly, yes. Because of how you see your parents, right? Yes. And I okay. think it's also, the world also has changed from True. when our parents got married. Yeah. Like many years ago, right? Yeah. Um, now we're all educated. We all have our own careers. So mm -hmm. it's not the same as what, you know, the previous generation would be like, oh, all you have to do is get married and then done, set for life. <gasps> yeah. You know, like this is the very typical past generation um, feeling, a thinking yes. where yes. they're like, get married and then set for life. So you know, don't worry about work. Don't yeah. worry about education. You just have mm -hmm. to have kids and then that's it. Like, and then you can just be that, a housewife and exactly. that's good. Yeah. Not that it's not good, yeah. but I don't see that as the only option yeah. anymore. And I also think the expectation is because I was in long distance for mm -hmm. five, almost six years. How? Right. It wasn't difficult. Yeah. But I think for me, going from complete long distance mm -hmm. to, to marriage at the same time, uh, right away, it's a bit different because when we were doing long distance, we never actually had the dating phase. Yeah. So five, six years of um, dating, you never really get to go out for dinner, yeah. no movies, no holding hands in public, um, no, you know, no trips or whatnot yeah. like very little so when you first get married many people have already gone through that and i'm still oh i want a date yeah, night like a double honeymoon exactly. period going on so i'm like oh i want date night i want this and that but yeah. on the other hand when you're in a marriage people expect differently you know you're thinking about date night and getting flowers and all romantic and surprises yeah. right so this is something that i think expectation wise i had to tune myself i think so too yeah. i think marriage definitely like as much as it like brings your relationship to the next level, there's also a lot of maturity that yes. goes on. Yes. yes. So marriage is supposed to be for mature people and the dating is supposed to be for like the young, supposedly, right, but I'm not sure romantic marriage. people. <laughs> <laughs> and then there's me like, oh, kind of crisscross in the middle. Just a little bit different yeah. than the conventional one. Exactly. So, um, so I also prepared some like quick questions okay, for you. Okay. This is not a yes, no question. So okay. you can like elaborate, but it's really just to get audiences to know about your experience a little bit yeah okay exciting we call it the memory lane questions okay we're gonna to... bring you back okay first of all who gave you the best advice about marriage who actually jennifer did oh yeah. your bestie yes so okay. i got married before her but yes. the advice she gave me which i did not take was um to do marriage counseling before you get married Ah, uh, have you taken no. marriage counseling since? <laughs> no. So how do you know it's the best advice? Because, so what happens is, Jennifer's my best friend, and she has trained in like psychology and counseling. Oh, right. My best friend in Vancouver yeah. is also a marriage counselor. Wow. And they both gave me the same advice. And at that moment, the reason I didn't take it was because, well, that takes away the romance. And I didn't want to be oh. too blunt before we got married because mm -hmm. like, I didn't want to talk about things like kids and money and, and family and i just wanted to think about you know the beautiful venue and the nice dress oh, oh so marriage counseling is before you get married you guys have yes. thought, like your values sorry like, what do you expect? premarital counseling oh sorry, yeah, I yeah, yeah, yeah. That. yes your best friend no. and your good friend. exactly and yet you did not <laughs> exactly and i said no i'm different from you guys i'm gonna i know everything we're gonna, we're gonna be perfect, perfect. <laughs> marriage. but the reason i think that in the hindsight, it might have been a good idea is because these are talks you will have to get through eventually. Right. And you don't want to go into a marriage with different expectations. That's true, because I do feel that when you... I feel like people don't do premarital counseling because they feel like counseling is saying, I have a problem. Yes. So it's like very... People get like, you know, they exactly. have a wall and they're like, I don't need this. And when you're engaged, you don't have problems. You don't you have know, Everything's perfect. 
You're perfect, he's perfect, and the weather is perfect. <laughs> Everything's perfect. So true. Yeah. But then, like, these are things that when you get married, I mean, reality sets in because now you're not only dating right. or in love, you're, yeah. like, spending the rest of your life together. Yeah, exactly. And so how do you live? And, and having, you know, worked before, having studied overseas, having had, you know, your own family and his family, and how do you balance everything? So I think true. these are things that may have been good to talk about before. It's never too late. Oh, I feel totally. like, yeah. yeah. But if you go to marriage counseling now, it will feel like there's a problem. You know, you feel problem. like there's a problem, right? And then how do you bring that up? You, <laughs> you know, can. Are you unhappy? You no, can. but it's just my friend suggested it and we didn't do it, so let's do it now. I feel like people listening in now who are, like, not yet married but planning to will do can, that yeah? because of that. Just one thing I did not take. Yeah. Final question before we uh, go to commercials. Yes. Who do you run to when you have marital problems? My father. That's <laughs> shocking. Yeah. Actually, I thought you were going to say your mom or your sister. No, actually, um, I actually run to my wow. dad for everything. Oh, my God. Yeah. Wow. And I actually, well, I wouldn't say what we have is marital problems, but I think... In general, every couple has their ups and downs. Of course. Frust- of general course. frustration, yeah. you know, like, uh, I think I would always turn to my dad. Oh. Because it's always been, like, the wisdom character. And men are more like, this is the oh, thing. Oh, he hears it, he's going to be like, ha, ha, you know, I'm so amazing. <laughs> I know him. <laughs> you are yeah. amazing, daddy, too. Yeah. I yeah. love that. Okay, we're going to go to commercial break, and then when we come back, let's dive in deeper into Yay. marriage. Oh, my God. 